I play a CIA agent with uh, Melissa in the in the basement of the CIA with Melissa, and I guess for all intents and purposes, I'm sort of Jason Statham's secretary. But uh, pretty early on, he decides to do his own thing, so I don't have too much work to do in this movie. I kind of got the movie off. <laughs> Did you get to meet the man himself, or was he just shouting at you over a phone? Uh, we didn't. Ha we didn't. Ha maybe we had one scene together. We didn't have any scenes together, but we were uh, on set together. And he's a great guy and a lot of fun and very funny in this movie. You guys should be uh, proud to call him your countryman. That's what I'll say. I think Paul's just a fan of female comedians. You know, I think there's a lot that's been made of that, and, and I think it's a tricky line because when you qualify something by, by labeling it, you make it sound like it's not part of the whole. I, I think I would challenge anyone to say that Melissa isn't the funniest actor working right now, never mind actress, or funny, funniest comedian, never mind comedian. And so I think Paul is just a real champion of what he finds funny, and he's been really, really generous and lovely and has produced a couple of things that I've done. He produced Ron and Beverly, a show I did over here on Sky Atlantic, and and he's had me in the heat and had me in this and that and he's a real he's a really loyal fan when he finds somebody he likes to work with he, he tries to collaborate with them again so you going to chat to him about finding a place for you in ghostbusters <laughs> it may have come up we don't have, we don't have an answer yet we don't have an answer yet we'll have to wait and see on that one yeah i would hang out in a dank dark wet smoke stinky basement with melissa anytime she's the best she's a pleasure to work with she's the nicest lady you'll ever meet and she's funny as shit you know i think the thing that's different about this movie is that um her character goes through a really big transition so you'll get those same kind of like the stuff that you've come to expect from her there's those great like exciting exchanges but also she's just She's really such a good actress, and I think it really comes through in this part. Like, she's really tender and awesome and, and vulnerable. She's terrific. She almost made me cry on set a couple of times, and I was like, this is strange that I should be affected by your acting as I'm watching it on a, you know, like, from the, it's very strange. It usually takes a dark theater to get me going, or an airplane, but, yeah.